so uh, two months back uh, february 11 we have uh, uploaded the video of uh, review of uh, pixel experience plus on our uh, mi a2 uh, jasmine sprout so currently i have that uh, device here so this time i am thinking to uh, install this uh, latest dev first uh, 13 uh, tango so this was uh, released uh, yesterday i believe so i have uh, checked this and i have clicked the download button so uh, this will uh, get you to the uh, google drive link so this is little bit sus but uh, i would say it's fine i'm just going to uh, download this and i already did uh, have this uh, one with me in my folder uh, here so this is the uh, adb passport tool and here it is uh, devfest uh, 13 and then the twrp version which is a uh, normal one not much here and uh, in my mobile uh, it's currently uh, this my ma2 currently running with the uh, pixel uh, experience plus so which is the uh, uh, retrofitting one and it's also uh, encrypted so uh, the purpose of this video is to check uh, whether uh, uh, I can directly install this uh, without any uh, further procedure uh, but I just really <laughs> that process was really really long to install get into this uh, retrofitting one uh, but I am just uh, going back to this uh, normal one uh, still uh, this there first is the uh, encrypted so that is there so first what I have to do is I will just uh, uh, have to reboot to the uh, fast boot uh, or bootloader so, so from that I will uh, install this uh, recovery so i'll open this tool and here i'll type uh, uh, cmd okay so i'll just check whether uh, adb devices maybe i just uh, have to uh, turn on the uh, usb debugging so i'm already developer so i will just enable the usb debugging You can directly boot to a bootloader that is uh, your wish uh, but i will just like to do this one okay so usb debugging is enabled now uh, i let me try the same comment again so it is spelling unauthorized or something so what i can do is uh, usb debugging Why the prompt is not coming, I don't know. Ah, now the prompt came, so I'm just uh, clicking. So if I give now, so device has uh, connected now. So what I can do, uh, ADB uh, reboot bootloader. So I already did uh, back up all my files and folders. So make sure you also do the same. Uh, don't forget to... Uh, keep any file in this one so here i have this one so so it is currently in fast boot so to check it i can type fast boot uh, devices so it is a uh, connector now what i can do is uh, fast boot a uh, boot and then i can drag and drop this file twrp file which is a recovery so it will automatically uh, boot into twrp i'm not going to install twrp and all so yeah so now uh, we are inside the uh, TWRP. We can't uh, see the storage and all because uh, our uh, pixel, this one is uh, encrypted the storage. So what I have to do, I have to format the data. Yes. Okay. After that, I will just uh, wipe this one, cache data and all. Okay. So now, um, we need to check uh, currently in which uh, uh, this one it is there it is currently in b slot so if i install the custom rom it will install in the a slot so what i am going to do is uh, i think uh, it is in this one right so um, i can just directly go to advanced and uh, or else i'll do um, 
slot A or else I, once I do this one I need to reboot to the uh, recovery yeah. or else I will do this uh, bootloader so that I can again boot into uh, TWRP okay so now I can boot again to the TWRP with the same command okay now the storage is showing you can see so I can go advanced and install a recovery dam disk the this one is not there so i'll just uh, copy this one inside this so twrp is copied now so i can do and uh, once it is installed i will just reboot to the a partition and format that partition also because earlier we have used uh, this dynamic partitioning retrofitting so yeah i have to do that one Okay, now I can just uh, switch to, uh, so now this is in currently in uh, uh, A slot, so if I reboot also it will be A slot only. Okay, now uh, this is uh, installed uh, perfectly fine, so I will go to advance and ADB side load and wipe cache and Dalvik. so this one is currently in A partition, so it will uh, install this one in the B partition, so yeah. Okay, now it is enabled uh, ADB side load. Here also I can check ADB devices again. So it is in side load mode. From here, what I have to do is uh, I have to do ADB side load and then uh, drag and drop that uh, uh, this one uh, ROM file. Here I have it. So I'll just drag and drop uh, here. This is dev first uh, Tango. So I can click uh, enter. So currently it will be installing in the B partition. Okay, don't forget that. I'll always forget. I have to format this partition also, but that is fine, I guess. It is taking some significant time, so let us wait. <clears throat> so it was about to uh, complete now. So yeah. So now uh, this has been uh, installed, I would uh, also, uh, this one also uh, wiped the cache and other things. So I have to install the TWRP, so I'll go to advance and install recovery RAM disk and I'll just uh, install the TWRP. Here also they have clearly mentioned to flash additional zips, please uh, reboot to recovery to switch the updated slot. So yeah. See, it is automatically rebooting so still it was in uh, a partition so i have to switch to uh, b partition now it is still uh, this one so reboot to recovery i'll do maybe it is because of i didn't uh, format this uh, particular partition so maybe it is due to that i don't know so it's still in the A partition, so I will uh, select to B. Yeah, now it is uh, booted to B, so I will just reboot to recovery. So it will be in the B partition now. Yeah, so it is in B partition, it is in the uh, dev fest. So uh, now I can uh, reboot to the system. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only video that where I have in the first attempt it just uh, did correctly. So yeah, let it just boot uh, the device is pretty much hot, it is easily getting hot and this one I wanted to change the battery of this one but uh, yeah it's already 4-5 years old. Okay. Finally, it is booted. Thumbs up. So, Android, welcome to Android. So, SIM card I didn't install. I'll uh, when I do the review one, I just uh, install and uh, do this one. Also, some people have uh, suggested that uh, this OS has uh, uh, low audio uh, in the uh, earpiece. So, that I have to uh, check how uh, how it is actually whether the issues there or not. I'll just select next and uh, don't use 
I'll also uh, sign into my account. Um, So same, I will uh, restore the device. It's taking a lot of time. So, yeah. Okay. Finally, this is uh, done. So I'll just select Dev first and always. So all my uh, backups are uh, getting installed. So it will be uh, slow and uh, flash and all working. So the camera wise, we have uh, I guess AOSP camera. So it has some delays because uh, it is AOSP camera and uh, we have uh, so dev fest uh, we have it and uh, Alexander uh, Brushwing so that guy has uh, built this one and it is April 5th uh, 2023's uh, security patch it's enforcing and uh, uh, yeah it's 4.4.3 zero to uh, kernel version latest one so not latest but it is uh, from 4.19 it is compared to that it is latest and we also have a dev fest updater it is just failed to check update that is fine we have a dev space we have all the uh, required customization to do these things and we also have the uh, network monitor indicator so all my apps are getting installed so uh, that's what about uh, installing uh, the uh, custom rom uh, from retrofitting rom or uh, you are coming from uh, pixel experience or something so yeah the procedures are pretty much same just uh, you need to install the recovery and then side load this uh, custom rom so yeah if you want to uh, see the other videos of uh, mi a2 uh, there is a playlist uh, which you can uh, watch uh, and uh, get to know if you have any doubts on this because these steps are already uh, discussed in uh, previous uh, videos or episodes of the MIA. So yeah, thanks for watching. Good morning.